Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover Australian dollar versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start first with Australian dollar versus US dollar. So basically what we got here is that we are trading in a very a side based regime in the last few days on the Australian dollar. So we can see basically there is a contraction here in the last couple of days. We have the midterm trend to the upside, but there will be very important announcement uh, tomorrow. We have a cash rate decision in Australia, so it can be quite uh, turbulent and you know, we can have an increase in volatility. So uh, you basically I will watch for a breakout and my advice is to watch for a breakout of this contraction to confirm the further direction. So, um, clearing the lows here eventually, clearing the lows at 07, 470 area. And so can open the door for lower prices and the price to go towards the 07,440 and eventually even to 07,380. So that's a basically scenario for the downside breakout. In case the upside breakout, and if we clear 07,530, 535, we can eventually test was 07,557. And then after that, we will have area around 07,600. So watch for the breakout of this contraction. Speaking of the gold market, gold is in a heavy consolidation. If you check the four hour time frame, we can find basically the very, very, very sideways oriented market in the last, I will say last 20 days or so. And we basically have this weird prices right now trading around the mean. Um, even though there is in the background this potential head and shoulders like this with the left shoulder, this with the right, uh, it's still very unclear at this stage. And I will still, similar to like Australian dollar versus US dollar, I will watch for the breakout of this consolidation to confirm the third direction. If we can clear the low here at um, 1889, then we can open the door for much lower prices. And I explained this um, in my previous forecast. So we can open the door then for the price to back towards the mean around zero, uh, pardon, uh, 1790 level. So that can really open the door for much, much lower prices. In case if we can basically clear the high and go above 1966, then we can expect retest of 2009 and eventually 2055. So either watch for this downside movement or you watch for this upside breakout and then eventually consolidation for the further upside. Speaking of the crude oil, I can see on the crude oil basically that we have um, exhaustion. We have exhaustion in the swing here, so we might see the some upside. And we, we might see some rally here on the crude oil. Uh, we found and we reached basically the 98.50, right? We tested a few times and there was no there was a bit divergence basically in terms of the momentum, as you can see here in the four hour time frame. We got a bull divergence. My expectation is the price can eventually back towards the 100, 150 or even 104.20. So watch for some buying opportunities on the crude oil and the price to back towards the four hour middle counter line on the recent swing high. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, we had actually a very significant pivot area around this zone here, which is a 45,000 mark. We traded aggressively through this pivot and we got a rejection, but then we made it this pin bar. Uh, this was like a pin bar here. So from my perspective, this is still very, very early to say that we do we continue with upside continuation. We have upside continuation here or we can have a second downside lag. So for now, it seems like we're doing the consolidation, but I would like that we clear actually that we complete and go above 47,450 mark and that can confirm eventual test retest of the 48,200 and maybe even um, test of the 51,900. That will be all for this update. I hope that you didn't um, enjoy and um, have a good day, trade safe and see you all tomorrow morning.